Hello guys, welcome back to Noob Nerd, and this is the reaction I've been waiting for. I haven't done the reaction in quite a while actually, but of course I had to do one for this film, no matter how many views I would get. <laughs> the first trailer reaction, the teaser, it was so, so good for this movie, man. Just everything that I'd been wanting, but also something you'd never been expected to want. But yet you want it now, and that first trailer is still in my head. That music choice was perfect. I remember the trailer off by heart because I watched it so much, so many times. Don't want to overhype it, obviously. This trailer hopefully doesn't give away too much. They've been marketing this movie really clever the way they announced this trailer date. I nearly missed the trailer. I didn't want to be too late with the reaction. So yeah, I'm not going to do much talking, but yeah, Todd Phillips like his work on War Dogs. If you want to know my th full thoughts on the first teaser, check out that video. I'll probably put like a card or something up there. On top of the video, uh, I think my first teaser trailer reaction got so many views, the most I've ever had on this channel so far. So I really appreciate the support. If you're if you're new on the channel, I do not just reactions but reviews, discussions on comic book media and also TV and films in gen in general that I like. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate it. If you like the content, subscribe, like, comment. I really appreciate the support. But of course, I want to get into the reaction. Um, as I said before. Uh, they're marketing this hopefully as more of a indie film, artistic film that could be potentially an Oscar winner. And right now, I've got my face infinite. But here's the trailer. God, I'm so excited that I'm, I'm just messing up all the setup. But yeah, uh, Even Though of course is a very popular trailer. It was. Uh, it's gonna get a lot of followers on Instagram. They already got, but. The fact that they've put it to, I think Todd Phillips has put this film up into festivals. These Warner Brothers are willing to not market it probably in the billboards or something like that. I don't think you'll see much of that. But the internet buzz will be of course thrilling because it's a Joker, it's a major character. But they really are focusing, not just being inspired by the comics, but inspired by just a whole new Elseworlds, Elseworlds, Elseworlds story, excuse me, <laughs> deviation from the comics. And that fits in well with the DC Black Label stuff. So it's not like... It's unprecedented for that type of character to happen, especially one like the Joker, who could have a massive impact in terms of the mental health side of things and how it's relevant today, as well as being set all those years ago in 1960s or 70s, I think. I think it's, yeah, Gotham 1970s. So, yeah, let's just get on with the action. <laughs> you say stop bothering my kid? We do, bro. Alive, fam. Arthur. Call me you now, man. I have some bad news for you. <laughs> this is the last time we'll be meeting. Going from happy to happy. You listen, dear. You just ask the same questions every week. True that. your job. Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. <laughs> and finally, in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, check out this guy. There when he is. I was a little De Niro. boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. <laughs> It's, it's, it's really relevant this, even though it's set all the way back then. Oh, I love that suit. Is that Thomas Wayne? It's so awful, isn't it? Yeah, as he beats, I want to see more of her. What's she all about in this movie? Cinematography. Point again. I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. What's going on? People are starting to notice. Think this is funny? Go on, my son. Is this a joke to you? Jeez! Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Of course. Mental. Okay, 
this looks sensational. Do it. Okay. Speechless. I. I don't know overreact. I don't know overreact. Um, usually, I just do the video watching the trailer once in these reaction videos. I'm tempted to watch it again, but from the first time watching. It really is like I, I it makes it sound like I watched it before doing this reaction, but I literally said that this could be really relevant to n n right now and like really be like really b groundbreaking in terms of what lessons it can teach nowadays, as well as being set back then. I said that before, and it literally just spelled out for me right there. It did what I was really hoping it could do: transcend that barrier, not just be another DC superhero whatever blockbuster something that can really touch the hearts or minds of people and this is what they can accomplish this is what they this they have probably accomplished it already um don't want to overhype this stuff but i really wanted to see more of not just the physicality of the joker but also not just him being beat up and be like sad of the world because of that but also what were people saying to him what were people acting towards him why does he break in his why does he break psychologically psychologically because of all those actions of the people not just people hitting each other but not just physically bullied being mentally drawn out and you have this robert de niro character a guest show making fun of videos you see on newspapers or in vhs tapes that really is relevant still now you see that guest shows uh, of course now of course here it's more presented more in a dark manner in the terms of, of course the joker seeing himself as the victim Whereas, of course, I watch guest shows like in the UK, we have Graham Norton show where he takes the piss out of just random events on the Internet. And you see that a lot in, in this Internet culture and social media culture. And of course, sometimes it's all fun and laughs, but it can really affect people if it's not done tastefully. And that was a really m mad thing to realize. That was that's I really liking that direction they're going in. And not just that. Um, of course, hopefully Zazie Beats could be like the the character that could, holds the potential to ground this joke and be like, no, you've still got something happy going on in your life. You see, I think a, gl a glance, a quick glance of his mother in the hospital bed as he's watching the Dob De Niro show. You see, he's very happy watching it, but then he realizes he's making he's been made fun fun of for wanting to become a comedian. Um, <laughs> of course, we see Thomas Wayne. He goes, he's face to face with him eventually. I think that's probably going to be backstage when he... So I think this is the journey of a man going on to on stage, off stage to on stage and proving to the world who he really is and why he should be feared, why he should be renowned. But of course then that takes a dark turn, not just being a, renowned for a comedian, being renowned for a criminal. And that is the Joker to me. That is the Joker, man. You've seen the Dark Knight returns, how he goes on the guest show and burns all the people, just kill gases all the people just because she, he just wants to show off his prestige and showmanship it's just brilliant man this is brilliant and even the specific things with the tissue around his neck making it look like a full-on costume almost like a new costume the costume design is brilliant you really feel like this is a living breathing world that could exist and it's, it's, uh, there's so much more i'm probably missing and it's most likely my longest reaction yet reaction video yet just straight up reaction video but for good reason man because i'm i'm this could be so good this is such a good year for comic book mo movies in general such a good mo it's such a good year for that and this could really be the cherry on top and a really good cherry in that and just its own singular thing that doesn't need to be connected to anything and we, which is fine you can be you can be connected to other stuff other films that's fine cinematic universes are fine but stuff like this where it could only really really work if it's like a indie Elseworlds kind of thing and that, that's that really marks the golden age of comic books when you're not just focusing on like blockbusters and how to enjoy the masses but also delving deep into into those comic material that is more is more independent and more because you see that in comic books also and they really are translating that on screen and making the whole wide Warner Brothers wants to whole, make a whole wide variety of shows hopefully Marvel follows suit with the Disney Plus stuff singular experiences that of course are can be great even made enhanced by these connections to other universes but really strike a chord with relevance with 
I keep on saying it, but really strike a chord with current society and how we could change from because of it. Maybe I'm looking too deep. Maybe I'm just. Maybe this movie won't be as deep as that. But I, that's what I'm getting from this movie, man. And, and the main character is the Joker, and I'm really liking Walking Phoenix as the Joker. But you see him as his own character, and that's it's his own movie. So you have to view him not just as Batman's villain. You have to see him more than that. And he really is. I can't wait to see what happens, man. I can't wait to see what happens. Like I think I have my suspicions, of course. I think, as I've said before, based on comic material, we, we could see what happens when he goes on the guest show. Because we see him let the clown on stage. That was so every The sounds, the cinematography, the sound design. So good. Soundtrack. Mate, get in that soundtrack. Yeah, I think I can guess what he's going to do when he arrives on the guest show. Uh, one question I have is, like, how does all the people protesting go into it i think there's more to that but hopefully they didn't spoil that didn't spoil you still have zazzy Pete. we have zazzy beats we haven't got more much footage of uh what's it tyler henry that geezer we saw only in the teaser trailer but i think they're saving that for the movie itself which is good just focus on the character of the joker and why you're watching this film in the first place brilliant stuff hopefully they continue to market this sensation sensationally they've already done a good job i'm so excited for october man let's get on with it let me know your thoughts down below what made you resonate with this film or maybe you're still on the fence about it who knows don't be afraid to leave your comments and leave your opinions if you like this video if you made it to the video to the end of this reaction with me talking as well as watching I, re I really massively appreciate you giving me the time to voice my opinion and let me i want to know your opinions down below like comment subscribe and share i always appreciate the support and i'll see you guys next time sorry guys couldn't leave it with this video without having extra thoughts uh, I need to just get it out there I don't want to comment it on extra thoughts because I feel like uh, plus I've only watched this one time so I need to just remember what I'm trying to say um, yeah so not just the relevance of the guest show host how that impacts on him mentally but also the relevance of therapists these days are they really as good as people say they are do people really understand what depression really is because you see because walking Phoenix talk to the therapist you're like you're not really you're not really doing a good job here well he didn't say that but it's something like that he's like you, you keep asking me negative thoughts or are you having them he says i'm always having negative thoughts and that really lends itself well because i've seen people on the internet or soon maybe i've known people around me that i've just blocked out my mind because people have that taboo about it that do you really understand what depression really is like in the way walking phoenix's performance his physicality as well as dialogue adds to it all just makes this whole thing believable but also scary at the same time and the way he's like he's laughing a lot but then he goes straight back <laughs> straight back to dead dead inside he's dead inside and that links that is the joker again but also it links him to well how how it really feels like no matter how much you can try and be happy when you're in that depressive state and mental health is just you, you're locked in that cycle. It's just meant, you could, this could teach this movie could teach a lot of things, but yeah, so that's just my two cents, my extra two cents by it. Uh, yeah, now is the final bit of the video. Goodbye, thank you for, thank you for watching.